Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cameron here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about the texture bugs where basically your textures just don't load in. Um, it happens a lot, especially when you're dropping. I've noticed that like when you're landing at locations, sometimes it takes minutes for them to load when you start a match. So today guys, what we're going to be tackling is five tips for you guys to help fix this texture loading bug. Um, basically it'll make sure that your textures render a lot quicker and easier and smoother But of course if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Cameron great to meet you If you guys like videos like this just guides and how-to videos make sure to subscribe We're on our way to 6,000. We're really close to that milestone Thank you guys so much for all the support and let's get into today's video Okay, so first to start off guys I want to just talk quickly just about why this is even happening for some of you guys out there because it has happened to me quite a bit uh, first off, I want to say I prefer performance mode over any other rendering mode and that's actually the one I still prefer. Now even on rendering mode, you will run into this. Actually, it's kind of expected in performance mode to have issues loading or rendering textures and that's because your system is putting less pressure on quality as it is on performance and sometimes loading those textures do fall into that category of quality versus performance especially at very far um like when you're really far away it'll take a while for them to load in when you start to land somewhere as long as it clears up within a few seconds i haven't had any major issues with it within gameplay now there's a difference here if you're landing and it's still not rendered and basically everything around you just looks like it's made out of play-doh and it basically is hindering your gameplay at that point guys then we need to go over some fixes so i'm going to show you guys what those fixes are now the first thing i do want to recommend if you're using performance mode so first go into your settings and then in your settings you want to come down here to where it says textures and if you play on low and you're having this issue a lot you will want to try high or epic depending on your system specs if it's not a super strong pc definitely just use high and then also what you want to do is um, most of you, a lot of you guys, play on um, unlimited frame rate. But you will want to cap it at whatever your monitor is. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, cap it there. Same with 120 or even 60. Or if you play on 240, cap it at that because this will help with fixing those renderings uh, with textures. And the reason quickly this will help you render textures is because your system will put less stress on trying to load as many frames and it will actually load the textures quicker and easier because it caps at a certain amount. So basically your system will put more emphasis on loading those textures versus the, the higher frame rates that quite frankly don't really matter if you have a capped you know Hertz monitor. So those are the few things I recommend in performance performance mode if you guys are indeed using like a different rendering mode then at this point if you're using direct x12 that one has been having some issues i've noticed with rendering like textures and stuff so if you are on direct x12 you'll want to switch back to direct x11 if you're having major issues um, because it's the ray tracing mode that's that's basically giving you issues rendering those textures Okay guys, so we tackled everything in Fortnite that you can do to change your settings to help performance with textures. What else can you do? Well, you can come into your Epic Games Launcher here, and what you'll want to do is actually um, basically check your game files for Fortnite. So to do that, you're going to click these three dots in the Epic Games Launcher. You're going to click on Verify. So what this does is it actually will go through all your game files and basically it just looks for like any bugs or issues and it will actually um, re-download like any corrupted game files or folders or anything like that. So it can be really handy especially if uh, you haven't done this before in quite a long time. So after you do that, test it out. If you're still having issues, what you want to do is check your background running tasks. The reason being is that there can be a huge hindrance on your machine if you have a bunch of like background running applications. So you'll notice here when I click this little button here, it basically shows all the background running apps. So I would just recommend closing anything you're not using, anything that you actually do need, like your NVIDIA control panel and obviously Epic Games Launcher. You'll want to keep those running, but any of these other things that just don't really matter, just close them out because that alone can help a lot. The next thing you want to do is come over here to the bottom left in this little search icon, type in background. And what this does is it'll give you uh, background apps here. So click on that. 
then basically you're going to want to untick anything that you don't want on your computer that can use resources. So what I went ahead and done is removed everything except my Lenovo Display Center, which I can even turn that off honestly. And the only thing you want to have running is just your NVIDIA control panel basically. So um, yeah, I would recommend doing that, especially if you're having that texture bug where things just don't load. So guys, I've talked about the importance of having really good graphic settings before, but I'm going to cover that again for you guys quickly because there's still a lot of you guys who haven't even touched your NVIDIA control panel. Uh, so that's, that's what this is here. So you'll want to open up your NVIDIA control panel. By the way, for any AMD or Intel folks, if any of you guys are running on different types of graphics cards like those two, I'll have a link in the description. Um, they're just the best articles I could find for the best performance of those um, graphics control panels. Unfortunately, I don't have an Intel graphics card or a AMD graphics card, so I can't tell you in depth about what is the best settings for that. Um, if I ever get a new computer, I might look at you know getting one of those graphics cards just to help you guys out. First of all, what you want to do in your control panel here is go under Adjust Image Settings up here in the top left. And once you click on that, it'll give you this screen here. Basically, just use use my preference emphasizing and make sure it's all the way on the left um, for performance. So this will basically make sure that you have the best um, overall performance and can help a lot with textures with those loading. Um, over here on quality will mean that your picture will look better, but not necessarily give you better performance. So I'd recommend performance uh, because that helps for textures loading and stuff like that. So the next thing you'll want to do, you'll have to click apply by the way, so you hit yes. Um, just come over here to manage 3D settings, and I've talked about this a lot on the channel, but basi basically you're going to want to have everything turned off. So sharpening off, all these other things off. So yeah guys, that's basically the main thing, just have everything off except for CUDA GPUs. Have that selected on your graphics card here, so it'll say all. Um, then everything else off here, and then the only thing you need selected here is uh, power management. You want to have that on prefer maximum performance. This does mean that your graphics card will run a little heavier, so it can use up more, um, more like your battery life on your laptop. But in my opinion, it's worth it because it gives you a lot more performance, especially if you have your laptop already like plugged in, um, or if you're on a desktop, then absolutely plug it. Uh, make sure it's on maximum performance. Um, other than that, then everything you you can just have these the rest of these things on on. Except, uh, so for texture filtering, you want to have this on high performance as well. So that also helps with performance rendering textures and stuff. Um, and then that's basically it. You'll want to have texture filtering, threaded optimization on on. And then these last two, triple buffering and vertical sync, just have on off. And you're basically good to go with all those settings. And these are actually the only ones that really matter in terms of um, like changing performance when it comes to your graphics card. So guys, for the fifth and final step here, I'm actually gonna walk you guys through resetting all the display settings within Fortnite. The reason being is this clears up a bunch of caches and cookies stored in your Fortnite game folder, and it can help quite a bit. Now do know you'll have to reset up your display settings, but all your other key binds and like any fixations and stuff will be saved. It just means you're gonna have to like um, set up your display settings again. So keep that in mind. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna come down here to the bottom left, type percent local app data percent sign. It'll bring up your folder that has all your app data stored. So once you have this screen pulled up, all you need to do is just locate Fortnite game. So for me, that's it right here. So what we're gonna do is just basically, um, it's gonna reformat your, uh, your display settings, but what you're gonna do is just rename it and just add a number. Um, so that basically will just help with refreshing the game. The next time you enter it, it'll actually um, help with renewing all your display settings. And this means any bugs or any issues stored in your game folders will be reset, which is actually a good thing if you're having any technical issues with Fortnite. So then after you do that, um, you're good to go. So first you just need to skip your cinematics because it's going to say that you're like new, but you're not. So after you do that, then you will get uh, this screen. So you notice your background's blue. This happens only the first time you re-log into Fortnite. Uh, but basically you just need to go back into your display settings here and just refresh everything. Um, I don't like DirectX 11, it reverts to that. So I go to performance mode 
and basically we have to restart Fortnite. All right, and there we go. We are reloaded back in. So now we should be on our performance mode. Yep. And uh, basically you'll just want to change your settings to what you had before or whatever you need. Uh, I'm going to put mine at cap at 240 because that's what I use. And basically guys, that should have fixed any of your rendering texture issues. If you guys have any other questions or any other issues going on, let me know down in the comments below. But yeah guys, it's been your boy Cameron. Peace out for now. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.